Financial assets related to home mortgages have lost value during the housing decline, and the banks holding these assets have restricted credit. As a result, our entire economy is in danger. The 2008 housing crisis was a severe economic downturn that acted as a catalyst for the Great Recession with the subprime mortgage crisis. Before the housing crisis, documentation was required and credit histories and income levels that might have earlier disqualified prospective borrowers were now found acceptable, allowing for the subprime mortgage crisis to begin. As requirements for the mortgages were lowered, banks began approving mortgages for housing that people could not really afford. As people couldn't afford the houses nor paying back any mortgages, the economy was on a downhill as houses were bought by the banks and mortgages were going unpaid. And since that time, the home next to it is in foreclosure. It's for sale now. Two others behind me the one across the street and two more at the end. So half of the homes on this cul-de-sac have been hit with a foreclosure situation. Due to this, the average rent check rose 22% in the 50 biggest housing markets, $3.4 trillion was lost in real estate, 465 banks filed bankruptcy after introducing mortgages for housing, and 5.5 million Americans became unemployed as the lack of national wealth caused budget cuts. So this is hurting everyone. Everyone is feeling the pain from this. It's had a drastic effect on the economy. We're essentially down by four or five percent. We're down over 16 percent. Dow at the same time has fallen about 18 percent. The stock market is now down 21 percent. Because we're now down 43 percent. That's where this is going to end up. I mean, this is volatility we haven't seen, of course, since way before you and I were born, even before our grandparents, you know, 1929. The decline in the housing market set off a domino effect across our economy. When home values declined, borrowers defaulted on their mortgages, and investors holding mortgage-backed securities began to incur serious losses. Like so many other cities that are highly dependent on tourism and entertainment, Las Vegas had gone from popular to desolate. To this day, local officials are hoping that times will improve, but the decrease in casino revenues and unemployment rates continue to this day. Ten years after the Great Recession, the stock market is booming and individuals affected by the event are recovering, though some are still suffering due to the amount of money they have lost and are still losing to unpaid loans. Along with the Great Recession, the credibility of economic specialists and banks have been called into question, with people being more wary of whom they trust with their money. Additionally, aspiring homeowners now see buying a house as a serious investment and won't rush into this big decision understanding the responsibilities and risk that comes with mortgages and whether or not they can really afford it. As bad of our situation is there's always somebody around the corner who's just as bad. Yeah. You know, you got to just be thankful for the good and pray for the bad and hope it all, point, you know, that it all plant pans out in the end. Well, the first thing you think of is, it's my fault. I made the wrong decisions. I wasn't smart enough to go figure it out. It's my fault. The American identity promised individuals a new life and a free market. Though, after what happened during the Great Recession, the new lives Americans were promised were greedily taken away and destroyed as others abused the system of the free market. <laughs>